So what we are here to meet the traveling troubadour, and we're here to talk about the uh, the show that he did at the Lexall Plaza in Carson City. The Lexall Plaza downtown Carson. Downtown Carson. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell us about that. The song that you're going to perform here. Well, um, this song, the next song I'm going to do for the show is. Uh, I'd heard it was about the Angora fire. Is that right? Well, um, we know we're just celebrating the fifth anniversary of that fire right now. And a lot of people, when they hear the lyrics to this song, they think it's about that. But actually, this song was written many years ago. And um, 
it's uh, kind of a uh, coming of age song, you know, like a rite of passage song. And it tells us uh, the tale of a, a young uh, Indian who becomes a brave. He's a young uh, buck who turns into a brave in this song. And the neat thing about this, this song is um, it's real powerful. I, I used to live in Alberta, so I went to school up there. I, and I met uh, an Indian chief up there. And when I played this song for him, it, it brought a tear to his eye. So I knew I had something special there. And I uh, hope, hope the audience loves this one. It's called The Aspirations of a Child. So let's go back downtown. Let's take it. Back, back down to Lax Hall Plaza. Aspirations of a Child. Aspirations okay. of a Child. There's a fire in the Sierras And the truck is running low Yes, it seems it's gotten out of hand As the wash shows at the blows And it breezes past my memory When I was young and I was wild To an old familiar story The aspirations of a child
Nirvana, music from the heartland. And I'd like to do, uh, after that first song I did for you was uh, a song written by a gentleman I consider the king of Americana. And I'd like to do a couple more of his songs for you right now. His name is John Stewart. And uh, this is my medley called Lady and the Outlaw. Welcome back to What, and we are here with Chris Kay, the traveling troubadour. We're going to go back to memory lane to 1960s, when we're going to see him with Manzanita Jungle uh, and his first hit, uh, Colorado Sun. All right. This is a song that's off my first, uh, one of my best albums called uh, Americana Man, and you can uh, get this on the internet, on iTunes, if you'd like to download. Of course, it's on, uh, under my name, Christopher Kay. And uh, let's do it. Let's go back down uh, memory lane here. My, this, this song came out uh, actually about two weeks after Woodstock. Oh, okay. Can you believe that? In 1969, the very end of 1969. And uh, it's called Colorado Sun. So let's, let's go back to the concert. Let's take For Colorado Sun. I up and ran from Kansas When the grain was growing tall 
Back to what with traveling troubadour Chris K. Chris, I hear you have some footage, some special footage from a car show or something. Actually, um, yes, I've got some uh, very special footage to share with with your audience. I've got my hot August nights shirt on here, and there's an event in Reno now that's becoming almost as popular as hot August nights. They're actually billing it as the next hot August nights. It's called uh, the Rock and Roll Revival and Classic Car Show. It's always the second week of June. Uh, at the Silver Legacy in, in Reno, and I was so fortunate to be able to play for the first one they had uh, in 2010. So I'd like to uh, share that with your audience now. Um, this was uh, on stage at the Silver Legacy, and uh, get a chance to do my rock and roll medley for everybody here, and, and take you back down memory lane one more time here. Right. Let's do it. Let's, right, go, let's go to that footage from the Silver Legacy. In 2010, the Rock and Roll Revival and Classic Car Show. This is the old record song, the ship. Let's hear it, listen to you by the ship. Jesus, music, man, got the same soul. Old 
Traveling Jubador, Christopher K., uh, the one songwriter in America who covered the whole story of 9-11-01. Chris, why don't you tell us about that? Well, um, I guess I, uh, I was the one guy in America who really wrote about it. I mean, even after the record companies told me nobody wants to relive it, I uh, felt that it was my way of coping with it. You know how? Uh, actually, over two years I wrote... 52 songs, wrote and recorded 52 songs about the, what the whole country was going through. And at that point, um, you know, um, I just kind of sat on it I, because, it's, you know, I couldn't get any record companies to bite on it, but I had to do it, you know, this is how, how I coped with it. And uh, basically, when uh, Bin Laden went down, when they got him, everything changed. All of a sudden, everybody wanted to hear these songs. All of a sudden, this music was was uh, very relevant. So I finally released it for the 10th anniversary of 9-11, uh, of 9 -11, And, uh, you know, finally, it's out there for everybody to enjoy. Uh, and all you have to do is go online and check out Beyond 9-11 is the name of the, the group, name of the, name of the project, Beyond 9-11. And there's actually three albums out there. Um, I told you I wrote 52 songs. That's one song uh, every other week for two years. So basically, um, there's, uh, there's two singles that cover uh, On the Home Front, 
and on the war front. And then there's a full-length CD um, that's called Beyond 9-11, Never Forget. So I guess I'm the one songwriter in America that really got involved and wrote about it from every different angle you could think of. So it's all there for you to listen to. Go online and check it out. Um, for me to, to, re to go back right now and try and, and do these songs, um, it's just too painful, too emotional right now. But I just want to let the audience know about it. There's this music out there, and you should really check it out. I'm real proud of it. And hopefully someday um, everybody in New York and, uh, will get a chance to hear this music, everybody that went through this tragedy. So, um, but for now, I'd like to, um, let's, take it, let's take it to um, what's happening with me on the street right now. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to um, do a song that I consider the best anti-war song ever written. I didn't write it, but... Um, I'd like to dedicate it to some people I've met on the street who are there every Monday religiously. The war protesters out in front of the, the state capitol, you'll see them out there and, and they honk their, you, know, you honk their horns to them, they'll wave at you. Great people down there. I'd like to dedicate this song for them and um, for the hard work that they do. It's called Last Night I Had the Strangest Dream. <laughs> Last night I had the strangest dream I never dreamed before. I dreamed the world had all agreed to put an end to war. I dreamed I saw a mighty room. The room was filled with men And the papers they were signed and said They'd never fight again And when the papers were all signed And a million copies made they all join hands and bow their heads and grateful prayers were prayed. And the people in the streets below were dancing round and round and guns and swords and you scattered on the ground Last night I had the strangest dream I'd never dreamed before I dreamed the world had all agreed to put Welcome back to What. I am Daniel Gaughan with Christopher Kay, the traveling troubadour. Uh, Christopher, tell us about the song you wrote for Edward Kennedy, Senator Kennedy. Well, actually, it was a song called Kennedy Brothers, and it tells the whole story of all the brothers, all four Kennedy brothers. But um, what was special about this was uh, when he passed away, uh, my album Americana Man was on the charts, and um, the one thing I wanted to do is make sure that he got a copy of it. So I uh, contacted my U.S. Senator, Harry Reid, and we were in the process of getting copies to him so we could get them to Senator, Senator Kennedy when he passed away. Okay. So um, it was kind of sad, but uh, he, he put me in touch with uh, Senator Edward M. Kennedy's family, and uh, he had me send him a personal note, and um, they sent me back a, a thank you note. It was so nice. You know, they appreciated the song, and... In the process, uh, it went to the White House. They sent me a thank you note. That was cool. And also, another U.S. senator uh, got involved. 
I didn't, bet you didn't know this, but Senator Orrin G. Hatch from Utah, uh -huh. he is he considers himself a songwriter. And oh, okay. Actually, he's pretty darn good. Um, uh, he, I got in contact with him and uh, basically um, told him about the albums that I had planned. I, we planned uh, three c CDs uh, to, as a tribute to, to Senator Kennedy. Now, two of them are already completed. Uh, one is called Tribute, and then the second one is called Tribute Second Coming. Now, which is, which is the easiest way to find it on the Internet. Just check out Tribute Second Coming. There's two albums already. Each one has a song, uh, a special song uh, that was written for Senator Edward M. Kennedy. And um, we're planning on a, a final CD called Trilogy. It's in the, uh, the works right now. But we're hoping to get Senator, um, Senator Orrin Hatch and his song. He wrote a special song for his friend, uh, it's called My Irish Friend that he wrote for Edward M. Kennedy. Oh. We're trying to get that on the CD, too. So um, I'm sending him a copy of this show, and this is kind of like my, my final plea for him to, to participate in this project. So hopefully when he sees this, he'll want to join us for, um, uh, for the CD uh, trilogy by Tribute, which uh, we're planning on releasing by the end of this year. So that's in the works. Okay. But for now, let's, let's do the song that started it all. This is the one that kind of got everything going. And uh, it, it features um, all, uh, verses for all the Kennedy brothers on it. It's called The Kennedy Brothers. So let's go back downtown. Okay, this is at Laxall Plaza again? At Laxall Plaza. Okay. Let's head on downtown for Kennedy Brothers. They were brothers in the 20s And their brothers still today the problems of this world lost in childish play. One was strong and one was gentle. One was older, one was small. These four brothers would learn to walk. First they would have to crawl. brothers in the 40s and their brothers still today when the problems of this one took the oldest one in the fray who step up to take his place and face up to their destiny as a leader in the land of the brave and the home of brothers in the 60s and their brothers still today when the problems of the world were within their power to change the king and duke of Camelot got up to answer the call and back then they'd see both brothers fall. The young brother from the Senate picked up the torch with much to say. But the problems of this world were still so hard to escape. The quality of life we live we Take for granted each day Is a reflection of all they had to give Their vision for a better way It's the goals that they accomplished In the shortness of their day are the mark of these Kennedy brothers and their dreams we live today.
Welcome back to What. I'm Daniel Gahn with Christopher Kay, the traveling troubadour. Recently, though, uh, we celebrated Father's Day. Christopher has written a song about becoming a father 30 years ago. Why don't you tell us about that? Uh, the song is called Blue Eyed Babies. And uh, you know what it's like when you become a father? You're checking to see, is there 10 fingers? Is there 10 toes? And then I checked my babies, my new son's eyes, and they were blue, bluish gray. Now, I, I've got brown eyes. My wife has brown eyes. How come my baby has blue eyes? <laughs> I didn't know until the nurse told me that all babies are born with blue eyes. And they're kind of like a uh, banana. They ripen into the, to the, to the, their natural eye color. So the hue comes along later. But they all start out with blue eyes. And I thought, wow, what a great title for a song, man. It's something that we can all relate to. This has probably blue been one of my most popular songs over the years. Nice. So... Um, and you can, you know, this one, this is only available on this show. This, this, you can't get this on the Internet. Okay. This has not been released yet, so this is an exclusive. Okay, so you just wrote this this year? No. Oh. Like I say, it was 30 years ago. Oh, you wrote it 30 years ago. <laughs> yes, okay. I did. I no, I, wrote it I didn't wait 30 years to do it. It was okay. all written then and there. When my son okay. Brian, let's hear it from my son Brian, when he came into the world. It's called okay. Blue-Eyed Babies. Okay, let's see it. Blue-Eyed Babies at the Luxhall Plaza. We're all blue-eyed babies When we come into this world We're all blue-eyed babies All the little boys and girls They may change to brown or green Or any shade will do but when we come into this world, our eyes are baby blue. Brown eyes, hazel, gray or green, prettiest peepers I've ever seen. Your daddy's dimples and your mama's face. Add so much to our little place. Opal glisten, auburn hue. Oh, will they just stay baby blue? Your father's nose and your mother's hair. You spread your smiles everywhere. We're all blue eyed babies. When we come into this world, we're all blue-eyed babies, all the little boys and girls. They may change to brown or green, or any shade will do, but when we come into this world, I'll rise, I'll be. Twenty or nineteen, you can see inside of me. Your papa's temper and your mama's charms. Oh, let me hold you in my arms. We're all blue-eyed babies when we come into this world. We're all blue-eyed babies, all the little boys and girls. They may change to brown or green, or any shade will do. But when we come into this world, our eyes are baby blue. Yes, they may change to brown or green, or any shade will do. But when we come into this world, our eyes are baby blue.
Welcome back to what and where has the time gone? We have time to play one more and then we have to go. Hey, how did you know the title of my last song? <laughs> it's called Play One More. Play One All More. Right. Well, uh, this has sure been fun, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. All right. Well, hey, what I want to do is um, this is a special song. I, I actually use a different instrument on this one. Um, it's called a guitar lele. Guitar lele. It's um, actually a baritone, the, uh, the size of a baritone ukulele with six strings on it, and so I can play guitar chords on it. And it sounds like a ukulele, huh. tuned up to A. It's called uh, Guitar Lele. So this is a very special song with that. Okay. And um, uh, I, I wanted to mention the next show that we're going to be doing together. Mm -hmm. It'll be the Nevada Day Parade okay. coming up. And can you imagine the uh, traveling troubadour downtown? On this parade route that it does every day for the Nevada Day Parade, it's going to be fantastic, I tell nice. you. Nice. Wow. You'll be driving in a Mustang this year, right? I think, I think we're supposed to get a Mustang for that. That should be a lot of fun. So why don't you tell people again where they can uh, pick up your music? Well, uh, it's all online. Um, I actually checked iTunes last week just to make sure it's, it's all there. Um, basically, uh, you know, there's already the Chris Kane Blues Band. There's already Chris Cagle in Country. And uh, was it Garth Brooks had an alter ego named Chris Cage? So huh. I found that I get more out of it if I use my full name. Search under Christopher K. There's two albums there under that. Actually, three albums under Christopher K. The 9-11 the music that I was telling you about, search under Beyond 9-11 for that. And uh, the two tribute CDs that are already completed, you want to search under Tribute, Second Coming. Also... Um, the Manzanita Jungle, you know, I did that, that song earlier. Mm -hmm. there is, check under The Manzanita Jungle online. There's also a, a very special um, song called One Kind Favor that, they, that we released. And uh, you'll, you'll also find the uh, second uh, tribute CD right there, the first tribute CD right there with The Manzanita Jungle because they were on that, that first album, that first tribute CD. So okay. um, thank you so much for, well, thank for you having me much. here. Thanks and for... boy, I'm sure looking forward to that Nevada Day Parade. That should be fun. That's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. Uh, for those people that don't know, do, what, do you know when that is, the date? That's always on October 31st, I okay. believe, or thereabouts. Sorry, it is Halloween, isn't it? It okay. is Halloween. Okay. So. <laughs> and uh, tell us again, though, let's tell the song we're going to play on the way out. Uh, well, we're going to play one more. That's what it's all about here. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching what? Thank you, Christopher.
coming out of jet planes. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. Standing here outside your door. I hate to wake you up and say goodbye. But the dawn is breaking. It's early morning. Taxi's waiting and his blood is hard. Already I'm so lonesome, I could cry. So kiss me and smile for me. Tell me that you'll wait for me. Hold me like you'll never let me go. There's so many times I let you down So many times I played around I tell you now that they don't mean a thing Every place I go, I'll think of you Every song I sing, I'll sing for you When I come back, I'll bring your wedding away Thank you.